Hi everybody, this is Abby with Scrap and Abby, and I'm back with another video. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. It's been um, about a week or a little bit more. Um, I've had quite a few things going on in my life, and um, just now having a chance after um, being out of my craft room for almost two weeks. Um, today is Friday, July 26th, and um, late on Wednesday, July 16th, my grandmother passed away, or the 17th, I, I don't have a calendar in front of me. My grandma passed away, um, and she had just turned 96 on July 1st, and she had some health problems, and we knew, you know, that she was, you know, her time was kind of coming to an end, but even though you kind of think you prepare yourself for these kinds of things, um, when it actually hits, it's, you know, it's pretty, it's hard, and, um, you know, so I've, obviously been off you know, with family and helping with the funeral and and that kind of thing and I just got back to work actually on uh, Thursday um, I was off for bereavement so of course I wasn't crafting I wasn't doing anything I was just trying to be there with my family and you know in support of my mom my mom is 74 she just turned 74 and um, you know so she's I was a, a surprise baby for her let's put it that way so all my siblings are you know they're older than I am and I have a younger brother we're 17 months apart um, you know, and I, I just turned 40 last November. So, um, anyway, so, you know, my grandma was, you know, she was older than most of my friends' grandmas and that kind of thing. But anyway, so, um, I haven't been, you know, crafting or doing anything just because of that. So it's kind of nice to kind of get back into a normal pace of life right now. Um, just of, you know, trying to get, you know, back to work and, you know, all stuff with my kids and then, you know, getting back in the crafting because I've really missed this because this is my therapy for many reasons and um, it's my happy place. So um, I'm hoping this video is not going to be too super long. Um, I have a couple different things I wanted to share with you guys, but I wanted just to kind of start off the video with that little bit. And um, for those of you who follow me and you know, wondering where I was, hoping you wondered where I was. That's where I've been. I'm um, just spending time with family and and things like that. So um, I did get some happy mail today. Um, this actually, this today and this two days ago. And typically I always do a video right off the bat when I um, get stuff. But, you know, this actually came in the mail the day of. My grandma's service was on Tuesday. And um, she, here in town where we live, and then she already had it prearranged that she was going to be, um, you know, entombed at the um, Abbey. It's a mausoleum. It's the, it's called, um, it's just called The Abbey, but it's an EY, and it's up in Portland, Oregon, so it's about an hour, hour and a half, something like that, away from where I live, and um, in the mausoleum. So this came on Wednesday, um, whenever we got back into town from, from doing that last bit of the services, then I just didn't feel like doing a video and, and all that. So, you know, I'm better today and everything, and I had a picture I was going to show you guys of uh, me with my grandma, but I didn't grab it to bring it over here just to show you... Um, who she was. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get back to the crafty stuff now. And, um, trying to thought, oh, something else that's kind of cool. I am uh, started water aerobics. I know it's kind of random, but I'm going to be going here shortly. I just got home from running some errands, so I'm going to try to not make this too super long so I can get myself in my bathing suit and get down to the pool. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so I'm this personal goal. I'm working on losing some weight and that kind of thing. So, um, that's that. And now I'll get to the crafty stuff. So pardon the rambling. <laughs> I'm hoping that you guys are being patient with me because I've just had a pretty rough last week and a half. So um, I don't know if you guys remember. I'm going to start with this one here first. Back in March, I went to the Creating Keepsakes Convention um, here in, uh, in Oregon. It was in Portland. And I took the Button Farm class. And if you go back to my videos, if you're interested, I did a series of videos from that um, convention itself. Well, we took, my group of friends and I, we took um, two separate classes for the Button Farm from the button farm and the, the actual um, kits that we looked at beforehand and said yes we want to do they didn't have the paper or the supplies it was some issue in Japan or somewhere wherever it was they were getting the papers from or the supplies and so they told us they substitute with a different kit so we ended up paying for two kits but ended up getting actually four because we paid for the two classes they didn't have those items and so they replaced those two class kits with completely different brand new kits and then we're also we're going to receive the kits that we signed up for in the first place so instead of just substituting you know we also got the original kit so we paid for two and ended up getting four so the lady at the class told us that um you know in march she said that it would be about you know anywhere from two to three weeks approximately and we would start getting our kits so we're all really excited really excited well you know 
March finishes out, April finishes out, May comes, and two of my friends who were in the same class as me who you know, live in the same state as me, they receive their kits. Myself and this other gal, we didn't. And so I emailed them. Long story short, um, we emailed back and forth and I just finally got my first of two kits um, just a couple days ago. So it was five months waiting for this. And I have to tell you, I actually forgot what it even was because it had been so long since I, you know, because you sign up like in January and I had forgotten what I even bought. So I was going to open it up on camera and share with you guys quickly. I won't make it, again, too super long. I'm trying not to be too, too super chatty, but I've missed doing videos, doggone it. So um, this is, I think this is the recipe book, if I remember right. I think that's the one my girl, other girlfriends got. Sorry for the crinkle. Oh, because I didn't open that very well. Get it out before I keep talking here. Sorry about that noise. And um, I think it's the recipe. And then we signed up for another one. And I don't remember what that class was, to be honest with you. So we'll just kind of pull out. Oh, and it is. This is the, um, oh, this they're calling it the grade A milk, raw milk album, I guess. It's a binding album, but this is for the recipe. And that's what, it, I won't take everything out, but that's what the album looks like. It's all bare bones, which I love because I love creating and making my own. And even though the button farm includes, well, they're supposed to, I'm not sure where it's at. Oh, there they are. They do a really good job of including, you know, very detailed instructions, their color, um, very easy to follow, very easy to read. I really don't even look at this because I like doing my own thing. I kind of like to go rogue and do my own. So, I mean, I'll look at, you know, look at this, of course, but I like to kind of do my own thing. And I just said that. I'm sorry. I'm I'm kind of tired <laughs> trying to get back on the swing of things, so sorry about that. So this is some of the embellishments that comes with it. Looks, These are some chipboard, um, adhesive chipboard. Um, these are really cool. I love that. I actually, I love to bake. That's another one of my things I like to do. I like to make cakes and um, things from scratch and make my own fondant and things like that. So this is actually really cool because I think what I'm going to do is make this and, um, you know, obviously make it and then make it, you know, just kind of a um, an album for me to pass on to my daughter, Kaylee, with some of my recipes um, that I've picked up from my mom and my grandma, things like that. So there's the chipboard embellishments, and these are the actual recipe cards. I don't know if they're blank on all the sides. Looks like there's writing on each one, and I like it because it's already kind of distressed. That's cool. And you can, you know, obviously write your recipes and little notes and things like that. And here's a bit of some ribbon and some uh, jute right there. And... This looks like it's just some ephemera. It's the Country Kitchen sticker sheet. And it's like, it just looks like a bunch of just different kind of ephemera. And that's what's in there, you can see. So it's really cool. It's like a vintage country. And this is actually the kit that caught my attention because I like that kind of vintage, you know, that's kind of my thing. So that's what I really enjoy. Pardon my reach. I'm going to open up the... I know why they put these on these, the paper pads, but I just, I don't like them. They bug me, and I'm kind of OCD, so what I really do when the camera's not on is I actually take my craft knife and I cut it on this side and this side on both sides because I don't like it to be all messy looking because it really bothers me. And I know there's medicine for that, but <laughs> that's just kind of how I am. So I'm doing it quickly, though, just so I can, or I think I'm doing it quickly, just so I can kind of share with you guys what these papers look like because I have not um, seen these before. I've never purchased from the Button Farm kits before. Um, I think they're a little pricey. I'm not saying they're not, you know, they're good quality and you get, you know, obviously lots of items and things like that. But I just, I, I, I like to kind of do my own thing. So I like to pick and get my paper pads and all my different embellishments and stickers and ribbons and things kind of here and there and kind of make it my own thing. So that's kind of where I choose to spend my, my crafty money. But, you know, I do like these kits and I have a girlfriend that um, has been buying these for quite some time. And so I was really excited to take a class so I could kind of look at, you know, what they have. And I really like it. So this is the Country Kitchen paper pack. I guess that's just the name of the collection, Country Kitchen. And you can see here all the different papers. And um, it's a six by six pad, of course. Um, they're not double sided. And I'll kind of go through the papers with you guys because I haven't looked at this yet. And oh, I like that one. That's really cool. Oops. Just went through a whole big chunk there, but that's okay. 
and yeah this is going to be great i mean obviously you have tons and there's like little note cards here there's tons of paper i mean you could clearly use this for another project so maybe the pricing isn't that bad it's just i don't typically buy kits um as much as i used to in the past so that is my button how um, button farm um you know vintage country mini album kit that i've been waiting for oh they call it the country kitchen class kit so i'm excited to get that and i'll get started on that probably I don't know, maybe later next week I have some design team projects coming up um, with deadlines that I need to get going on since I hadn't been crafting for about a week and a half. Now this box here, um, I have some stuff I ordered but I wasn't expecting it quite so quickly so I was like what is this box? So this is um, from the mini swap I did. Um, I did a video, you can check that one out too. It's the itty bitty mini swap I did and it was um, black, white and pink. It couldn't be any larger than 4x4 and no, large, no smaller than 3x3. And so I did a video on the one that I made, and this is mine back. And this is actually the box I sent it in. I was like, did they just return my mini? Because that's this is the tissue paper I sent it in too, but they just reused the packaging, which is a good thing to do. But at first I was like, am I getting my same one? So I didn't look inside yet. I just opened it kind of to see what was in here because I wasn't sure what to expect. So I'm opening it live on camera with you guys. And there it is. Let's make sure that's all it's in there. It's just tissue paper. So this is my mini that I received from the swap. And it just says my name on it. And this is mine. So I don't know who made this, but this is it. And I'll hold it up so you guys can see it. Oh, this is really cute. Oh, it's like on the chipboard. Oh. Um, let me show you guys. But just because I don't know this person and I don't know if they would be upset if I showed their... Um, personal info on the business card, but I'm um, just to show you who made it. It's from Mim Hayden, and life the way I see it must be her company name. And I'll show you guys. Oh yeah, she has a business, so I will um, not show you the phone number because I don't know if that's a you know cell number. I know it's on a business card, but just out of respect since I don't know her. Um, this is her um, blog address, not this, but this one down there. So if you guys wanted to check her out, you could do that. You could pause the video and, you know, look at that if you want to. So I'll check her out too. So anyway, so this is my mini. It looks like it's made on the little chipboard coasters because the requirements was it need to be um, on chipboard. And this is very cute. And the colors were pink, black, and white. So this is the mini. It's very cute. I love those types. I have some butterflies with that. You know, it's that netting like that. I'm not sure what who makes them, but there's some little gears there. It's very cute. Then you open it up, and there's the first and second page. My daughter's going to love that because she likes, oh, well, there you go. It flops open. I guess I should pay more attention. That's very cute. My daughter might actually take this from me because she likes this kind of stuff, so the colors and everything. And then some little tags here. Those are cute. She stamped. Very, very cute. A little envelope. I like that, too. These little pink clips. And I actually have this paper pad. Um, I recognize this paper, so it's very cute. I bought it for my daughter to make some projects for her. And there's that. And then some more tags tucked in the pocket. Oh, that's cute. A little bit of vintage flair. Yay, I love that. That's me. Oh, does this open? Oh, it does. little place for you to journal. I'll put a photo if you want. And then another page there. Very cute. And then some more tags in the back. And there's the mini. So that is my mini that I received from the itty bitty mini swap that I did. I'll put a link in the description below that shows you guys um, the mini I made and sent off. So so I don't know if, because um, I put my information in with my mini, so I don't know if Mim is going to um, you know follow me or look at my YouTube channel or anything like that. But thank you very much for the mini. I think it's very cute. And like I said, I'm sure my daughter's going to take it because that's what she likes to do. <laughs> She's silly like that. So so that's kind of really all I had to really do a video about. Um, just to kind of, you know, share my the mini I got and then my kit that finally came in the mail um, from the Button Farm. And, um, you know, so... And I'm not trying to say anything bad about the Button Farm. I'm sure that you don't have to wait normally this long for kits. Because, like I said, a girlfriend of mine who took the class, she... Um, you know, has been buying from the Button Farm kits for quite some time. I think it was just, you know, just because they had so many conventions lined up and, you know, the class sold out and they just had a hard time getting the product. So, so I, I do want to, you know, kind of end this with, 
not complainy because that's not what I'm about. I'm all about the happy. I don't like to, you know, come on here and, and have gripes or anything like that. So that's not what I'm doing. I just was just kind of disappointed because it took, you know, five months for me to get the kit. And then I kind of forgot what, what the kit it was I even ordered because from the class because it had been so long. So, um, you know, but anyway, so that's just kind of how those things go in life and that's okay. So um, I think that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Um, my husband's going to be home shortly, which means my little baby Bella will start barking. Um, my craft room, like I said, is moved downstairs now, so I'm kind of more in the open. And um, I've got to get myself ready to go to water aerobics. So I'm really excited about this, um, you know, losing some weight and trying to get off my blood pressure pills. I take two a day and I have since I was 19 and um, it's just in my genes. So, you know, it's just the way it goes. So that's what I'm doing it for. And um, I will hopefully have another video up um, maybe tomorrow because I'm going to be finishing up a project I started before my grandma passed away, N a non-design team project. It was just one just for fun, just to kind of, you know, um, just to kind of do and um, kind of share that project with you guys as well. Oh, and please keep your fingers and toes crossed for me. Um, um, if you guys follow me a lot, I do have, I did make it to the second round for the May Arts Design Team call. I um, applied to be on the video um, design team portion instead of the written for the video tutorials not the written tutorial which I can do both but you know I wanted to do video and anyway um, so Bethany is announcing the 2013-14 design team on Monday so I'm anxiously awaiting um, and I'm hoping to see my name on that list so um, if you guys like you know if you guys could you know say a prayer for me or keep your fingers crossed I know it's just you know it's ribbon and something like you know um, you know probably like life altering but it's a big deal to me because I love my arts and I have for quite some time and you know and I um, tried it before and didn't make it and so I'm hoping but I made it to the second round this time so I'm hoping that you know that bodes well for me so anyway so I will um, for sure be doing a video on that especially if I win if I make it on the team I mean so anyway I'm going to go ahead and stop because I'm kind of rambling now and I'm um, getting a little scattery and I think that's it. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for sticking with me. Now I can't find my remote. Um, my desk is a total mess. Anyway, so thanks for sticking with me, you guys. And I did miss doing videos. And um, I'm excited to kind of get back in, you know. And so going through the grieving process, of course, you know, and kind of being there for my mom and my aunts and, um, you know, touching base every day and kind of checking in and stuff. So, oh, if you wanted to, I did have a couple videos I did a, a while back, a few months back. I have some old vintage sewing notions and things like that, patterns and fabrics and laces and things that my grandma did give to me. So um, that was really special to me. And I'm so glad that, um, you know, she, I was able to receive those items from her given to me. And I also have some more stuff. Oh, that's what I forgot. I have some more stuff out in my car that my grandma, my mom had given to me um, from my grandma. And I just didn't get them before she passed away. So I will be doing a video for sure, um, if not later tonight, tomorrow. And I think I've made this too long, so I'm just going to close my mouth, hit the stop record, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.